All right, uh, let's look at the homework 3.9, problem number 9. A plane flies over horizontally at an altitude of uh, 3 kilometers and passes directly over a tracking telescope on the ground. When the, um, the angle of elevation is pi over 3, this angle is decreasing at the rate of um, uh, pi over 3 radians per, per minute. How fast is the plane traveling at that time? All right, so let's uh, draw a picture. All right, so uh, it um, uh, three kilometers above the ground. Uh, so it's uh, right here, altitude of three kilometers. So this is uh, three kilometers there, All right? Uh, directly over the tracking telescope. So I guess uh, uh, telescope is uh, right here. Alright, so maybe I'll just do that. Alright, then uh, the angle of elevation, um, so if you look at the angle here, so that's the ground, and uh, here is the uh, angle here. So I'm going to just, uh, alright, so this angle right here is, uh, let's call it theta because it's changing. So at this point, theta is pi over 3. Right, and it, but uh, it's also decreasing at the rate of pi over three radians per minute. So, which means that uh, we know that uh, d theta over dt is equal to negative pi over three. Right, then the plane is uh, uh, moving. So I'm gonna just uh, so horizontally so here. Then plane is uh, right here, so uh, I'm gonna just draw a plane. All right, so here's the plane, All right? And we're interested in um, how fast uh, this guy is flying, so we're we're interested in finding out this guy. All right, so since the the distance here is, oops, uh, let's see, what did I do? All right, this distance here is changing, so I'm going to call this distance x. All right, then what we're looking for is uh, dx over dt. All right, so what we want to do first is that uh, we're going to uh, look at this uh, right triangle right here. So look at this right triangle. And uh, here, uh, this is actually the same angle here, so this is also theta. All right? Then think of a, a, a equation relating x and three and theta. All right? So uh, we can see that uh, this guy, we can use a, a trig ratio a tangent. Tangent of theta is equal to opposite, which is three, over adjacent, which is x. All right, so we have equation. Then what we can do is just go ahead and take the derivative. So if you take the derivative of this with respect to t, we get uh, tangent, so derivative is secant squared of theta and uh, d theta over dt is equal to, all right, you have three and the derivative of 1 over x is negative 1 over x squared. Then you have to multiply by dx over dt. All right. So remember that the, we are looking for uh, dx over dt, which is uh, this guy. So why don't we solve for dx over dt? So we can uh, multiply by uh, negative uh, x over 3, x squared over 3, right? So we get, uh, let's see, dx over dt is equal to uh, negative uh, x squared over 3 secant squared of theta d theta over dt. Right. Then uh, we want to find um, 
um, uh, these values, we need to find x here. And the theta is pi over 3. And d theta over dt is negative pi over 3. So uh, first we have to find x. Right? So let's find uh, x there. So x can be found by just uh, plugging in uh, theta equals pi over 3 into the original equation. So we need that. We know that the tangent of uh, pi over 3 right, uh, is equal to uh, 3 over x. Right? But uh, what's a uh, tangent of pi over 3? So pi over 3 is 60 degree. Tangent of pi over 3 is um, uh, square root of 3. Right? Then if you want to find the um, uh, x value, right, we can just uh, take the reciprocal of both sides. So uh, you're going to get the 1 over square root of 3 is equal to uh, x over 3. Right? Then multiply both sides by uh, 3 to get x. So it's a 3 over square root of 3 is equal to x. Right? So therefore, uh, x is square root of 3. Right? Uh, square root of 3. All right? Then, so we know everything here. So we have a minus. Uh, square root of 3 squared would be 3 over 3. So we can cancel those. All right? Then uh, we have a secant of pi over 3. So secant of pi over 3 is what? Um, all right, secant of pi over 3 is 1 over cosine of pi over 3. All right? Cosine of pi over 3 would be 1 half. So reciprocal would be 2 squared. So it's going to be 4. All right? Then uh, d theta over dt is negative pi over 3. All right, so you can see that uh, negative signs cancel out. So you get uh, 4 pi over 3. All right, so that's, uh, uh, let's see, how fast? So it's going to be, uh, let's, kilometers per minute. All right, so let's type it in. All right, we have uh, four, kilo, uh, 4 pi. Uh, pi, let's symbol, uh, let's agree glitter, let's see where is pi, pi over 3. Alright, so let's uh, submit for testing. Alright, uh, it came back and looks like uh, we got this one correctly. Alright, uh, that's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.